everybody and welcome to One Player. Today we're here with Reina Niziers, and I think I may have mispronounced that, so I apologize. Uh, his decathlon, uh, Mr. Nizier, or Dr. Nizier, I should say. Um, of course, famous for Lost Cities and uh, Llama Drama or something like that. He's quite prolific and there's, there's a lot and lot and lot of uh, board games and card games out there. This is a free print and play um, based on the Olympic Decathlon. Um, we can play it solo. It sets up to plays up to four players. And all we need to play this game is this score sheet, a pen, eight dice. Some among you may recognize the old uh, ruler laden dice tray from D100 Dungeon. And I was thinking about, you know, I've obviously with the situation we're in, we are we are kept indoors. And while some of us have an expensive, well, I, I don't know actually if I'd put myself into this category, but while, while some folks do have an expansive enough catalogue um, to play um, a different game in a night for, you know, uh, however many years we are <laughs> cooped up for. But for those among us who want to kind of try something different without having to necessarily splash a whole bunch of cash, print and play options are abundant out there. I've been kind of, I haven't really delved into them a lot previous to this, but there's there's just a lot. Um, and so obviously D100 Dungeon would probably fall into that category. Um, we've got this decathlon and I, I thought about making some sort of series. Um, you know, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more of these. I thought we'd get on with this. I've never played this before, so we're going to be learning the rules um, together. There's, there's not that many of them. And essentially each, each event, each of these 10 events um, for the decathlon has its own specific set of rules. I am hoping you can read this, but um, if not, I will probably put up a screen. I'll put up a screenshot of this so you can actually see what we're doing. So I figure we start at the top and then move down and then down again. I don't know how the decathlon goes. I've, I've never really watched it to be honest. But um, in <laughs> in the hundred meters, and I know what that is. So in the 100 meters, we are dividing our dice into two sets of four. Throw the first four dice until you're satisfied with the result. Freeze the first set. Throw the other four dice and proceed in the same manner. Try to freeze sets of dice with high values, but which contain no sixes. Maximum of seven throws, one initial throw for each set, and up to five rethrows, which may be divided between the sets as desired. So it sounds like we have to throw them as four, um, and not as, you know, we, we don't get to freeze a five and then call it good. That's weird. I didn't plan that, but I'll keep it. <laughs> Just kidding. That would be somewhat unfair. Um, okay, well, let's roll this one first. Um, and, okay, so we've got two sixes. Um, so the scoring at the end is the total value of the dice, but subtract any sixes from the result. Okay, so we are going to want to re-roll that. Um, let's we'll freeze that set and roll the second set. And we've got two fours a three and a two which isn't terrible but it's not great so that's two rolls maybe i should get another dice to count track of how many rolls i've got because this is going to get I, I can't hold this many uh can't hold this many thoughts in my head um so that was two all right um let's re-roll this one first because that seems more imperative um and that gives us up to three we've got a five and three threes so what is that nine fourteen so what's the top score i guess the top score would be uh, 40, so we've got 14 uh, plus 13, so that's 27 out of 40 right now, so not above half, but not great. Let's re-roll, hmm, what do we got? Let's re-roll this one too, and that'll bring us up to four rolls, and we've got another five on there. Hmm, four, okay, five, four, two, two, so that gives us a score of, is that 13 again? Yeah, no. Yes, 13 again. Okay, let's roll it a, one more time. How many rolls did we get? Seven? Ooh, seven throws. Okay, we're getting down to it. Okay, we're definitely going to have to re-roll that because that's uh, terrible. Um, that's five. So that's 6664, so that's basically uh, negative, like, 12 point. no, negative 14 points. Two sixes and, oh my gosh, okay, well, now we're just going to have to stick with what we've got and hope that this is good. This went off screen, but I promise, and I'm going to just tip the camera so you don't... Oh, I'll not cut throughout this... <laughs> I'm not going to cut throughout this point, but... Oh my gosh, get, get over here. I'm going to tip the camera because it, <laughs> it did an episode five, I promise. Um, and you know what? I will take any dice luck that I can get. 
So that's pretty decent. We've got five, five, four, four, and a five, triple, three. So what's that? 14, 18, 22, plus 10 is 32 out of a possible 40. And I will say that is a result. We put our score here, 32, and move on to the next event. The long jump. We start with five dice. After each throw, you must freeze at least one die. Try to freeze dice with low values. If the total of the frozen dice exceeds eight, your attempt is invalid. Stop throwing with a total of eight or less on all frozen dice. Then you jump. So, okay. Starting with five dice. So, there we go. Five dice. After each throw, you must freeze at least one die. Try to freeze dice with low values. If the total of the frozen dice exceeds eight, your jump is invalid. Stop throwing with a total of eight or less on all frozen dice. Then you jump. So do I want to just try to freeze one dice? I see, so the more dice we freeze in the run-up, the more dice we get to actually throw for the jump to try and score higher points. I understand now, that's where we're, that I, I get it. And we get, th oh, and I see on the rules it does say we get three. So we get three rolls, um, eight or less. Okay, three rolls. So we're going to freeze one dice, and we will freeze that one for sure. Um, yep, two and three give us, give us some ones. Oof. Well, I can, I guess, do that. So that's one, two, three, four, five. These two, unfortunately, go away, but I've frozen three dice, and then we throw them all. Freeze at least one die and re-throw the remainder until you freeze all dice. Try to freeze dice of high values. Yes, I understand now. All threes, okay, so we're freezing. We've got to freeze that one, I suppose. And then we're gonna freeze, oh, that's terrible. And then we're gonna freeze, that one <laughs> okay so three three four that's a total of ten total the value of all frozen used in your jump so that is uh ten so we're gonna put down ten that was that's our long jump not a great i suppose i have a total of possible well 18 we gave ourselves 18 to play with obviously the total could have been 30 if we played our cards right played our dice right Oof, edit that out that was terrible Shot put, shot put. Okay. My accent breaks there. I don't know what I don't know what I'm saying. Shot. This is the trouble. Uh, I'm English, living in America. I never know how to say use put or put. <laughs> Whatever. Throwing that big old ball. Throw one die after the other. At any point, you can stop throwing and finish your attempt. Your attempt must end after all eight dice have been thrown. If you throw a one, you suffer an invalid attempt throw total the value of all thrown dice oh so basically it's like throw until you think you're not going to get a one so i mean odds on me getting a one on the first throw pretty high let's see how it goes <laughs> you, can't, you can't write it you cannot write it um come on <laughs> brilliant I swear that wasn't fixed. I'm not good enough with camera tricks to make that to, <laughs> to make that happen. All right. So uh, shop. Honestly, okay. Here's the funny. Here's a funny thing. So I'm in in high school. Um, I I signed up to do track, and I was going to run the 1500 meters. Uh, I wasn't fast, um, but I could run for a while, and that was the longest race we were allowed to do. So I can I can stamina. I've got it right. I can run 1500. But if you do a track event, uh, this particular whatever this this particular competition you had to do a field event as well and they put me in shot they put me in shot put so i did my one i did my 1500 that was fine and then step up onto the field for shot put and i got disqualified every single throw i think you get three i got disqualified every single throw because in shot put there's like a little there's like a triangle that you you throw out of right so you like you sit forgive me for this diatribe but I, it is brief i think it's pretty funny so there's a little triangle that you throw out of, right? So you stand here and then you throw the shot put this way. Well, if you exit 
the little circle here where you throw from onto the field, you get disqualified. And I just kept forgetting that rule. So you have to walk out the back and around and then get your shot put. But I kept walking off just to grab it because literally it landed like right here, like in arm's length pretty much. Anyway, I got disqualified three rounds in a row or three shots in a row. And um, yeah, never did shot put again. That's my story. That is my claim to fame in terms of my athletic prowess. Uh, I think I came in fourth in the 1500s, so I don't think I got invited back for that either. <laughs> high, <laughs> high jump. Jumping starts at the height of 10 and is increased by increments of two. At each height, you can decide whether you'll jump or skip it. If you decide to jump, you'll have three tries at that height, which you can take back to back before the next player takes his turn. On each jump, you throw all five dice. Okay, let's grab five dice again. I'm gonna go with two black and three white. Um, these have been borrowed from Button Men, so that's they're nice. They're high quality. I like them. On each jump, you throw all five dice. The jump is successful if the total of all dice equals or exceeds the current height. If you have three invalid attempts at one height, you have to stop scoring the maximum height, which was successfully mastered. All right. Well, let's start at ten. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to get crazy. Wow, that was. Uh, that's an overscore. Um, so we've scored twenty-five, which would have been a grand score. Um, had we actually been going for it. So we've got 10. Um, should we go for 12 or should we skip? I think we'll skip. Let's go for 14 now. Oops, I've moved that a bit uh, wonky. There you go. Yep, all right. Let's go for 14. 14 it is. And we have scored 15. Haha, <laughs> eat that. Um, let's go for 18 then. We can score that. We, we've got this. 18 in the bag. Oh, he scored a 20. All right. This is going surprisingly well. I'm feeling okay about it. Should we go for 20 or should we go for 22? I think we'll go for, let's go for 22. Come on. We're, we're pushing our luck here. Um, we've got 12. Yeah, those two ones have really killed us. All right, so that's, that's attempt one. Oh God, that's bad. Uh, that's 10, 13. Okay, so we're going for 22. So that is not gonna work. Um, we need this one. To be good, it is terrible. So that is 12, and that is our attempt over. That's three attempts at 22, and thus we score 18 points. Maybe I should have gone for 20, although I don't think we even hit that in that attempt. So you know what? I feel all right. If we'd have gone for just straight up 25 or, t or 22 uh, on the first round, we would have been fine. But that's how the cookie crumbles in decathlon. It's all about pushing your luck and how little of it you have, which in my case, a decent amount of bad luck. Wait, in my case, not very much. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Divide your dice into four sets of two. We are on the 400 meters. Throw the first two dice until you're satisfied and freeze them. Proceed with the second, third, and fourth sets in the same manner. Try to freeze sets of dice with high values, which contain no sixes. Maximum of nine throws, one initial throw for each set, and up to five rethrows, which may be divided by the sets as desired. Total of value of the dice, but subtract any sixes. All right, so we're going to need a bigger dice to count our throws. Um, so we've got, let's see, so we've got, this will be our first throw. Um, which isn't great, but okay. This will be our second throw. I'm um, thinking about keeping that. Uh, that's two. Where's my, where's my two? Where's my, I thought it was a spin down. Obviously it's not. That's my three. That's five. That's pretty bad as well. And that's going to be four. Oof, six. Okay. So that's four. Let's start re-rolling. We've got nine throws. Let's re-roll this one because it's bad. <laughs> okay. We're going to re-roll that again. Uh, because that's even worse. Oops, that should be five. Okay, yep, that's that's something I can live with. Um, so that's on to six. How many have we got? Nine? Nine throws, okay. Um, so let's go with this one. There you go, we've got our first... S oh no, we don't want sixes, do we? Oh, shh, no, we don't want sixes. So actually... Um, okay, now the dice are laughing at us. And you know what? We'll take it. We're safe. We're safe. 
So actually, the maximum score is only 10 per set, isn't it? So it would have been 40 um, maximum score. So what have we got? We've got 8, 16, plus 6 is 22, plus 5 is 29. So, you know, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. It's, that's okay. All right, on to the 110 meter hurdles. Start by throwing all five dice. Guys, we've got eight dice. You need to specify. Let's go with the... We'll put the blue and golds back in. This makes me feel nice. Start by throwing all five dice. If you're not satisfied with the result, pick up all the dice and re-throw them. If you're allowed five pickups of the dice. The number of re-throws should be counted out aloud. All right? I mean, I could do that. I was going to use a dice, but you guys can count along with me. All right? One. And we're going to stay. Because I mean, there's no way I'm going to score another three sixes. I'll just guarantee it. Uh, six, 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 three, three. So that's what, 24? Yeah, we're sticking with that, I think. 24 out of a possible... Uh, uh, 24 out of a possible 30? Yeah, okay, that's it. Done. 110 meter hurdles? Yes. Discus. Start with five dice. <laughs> we're already there. After each throw, you must freeze at least one die. Only dice with even values may be frozen. Try to freeze dice with high even values. Stop throwing to finish your attempt at any time or when all five dice are frozen. If you cannot freeze another die, your attempt is invalid. Mm, okay. And we get three throws, it looks like. Oops. Yeah, we get three throws. Try to freeze dice. Stop throwing to finish your attempt at, oh, at any time. Why does it say three on the little curly whirly? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. All right, well, let's freeze these two fives because, uh, you know, I'm playing it safe here. Um, oh, I can't freeze fives because they are not even. Okay, so let's re-throw them all. And all of those are odd. Do I really only get three throws? Because that would be terrible. Uh, I thought we'd find three. I think, I think it is, you know. Um, okay, well, we'll, free, we'll freeze that then, shall we? Twelve. Is that that's three, isn't it? I mean, that's three. That's three goes. So I don't think I can do anything else. Hmm, that's too bad. All right, we scored twelve. That's okay. Um, twelve. It is. The pole vault. Jumping starts a height of ten, increasing by two at each height. Yep. Okay, we've already been through this. If you decide to jump, you have three tries on that height. Yep, got it. On each jump, you decide how many dice you want to use. The jump is successful if the total of the dice is equal to or higher than the current height, and if the throw does not have any ones. Oh, of course, because the more dice you throw, the more ones you might get. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so we've got we've got a possibility of eight dice. However, we probably don't want to throw them all because if you've got a one. Then you, then you, you, you're screwed. So one, if we're trying to get a, if we're trying to get a, if we're trying to get a ten, I mean, okay, stay with me here. I think logically, if we're trying to get a ten, I think we throw three dice and hope that they're all, you know, and hope that they're above average, or they're average or better, right? Above three each, yeah. All right, so this is attempt number one. We've scored a nine. That's brutal. Okay, um, so that's one. Well, I would just remember it. I don't even can count to three, I think, in my head. <sighs> that's eight. Okay. Can I... Tr on each jump, you decide how many dice. Okay, so this... We've done two. I think we are going to have to add another dice in here to make sure we get to ten. Have we got a one? No, we do not. And we've got to sixteen. Fantastic. Let's circle off our 10, and let's go for 14, and I'm going to... Should I add another dice? Well, let's start off with 4, just in case, and we can maybe see if we can get one. All right, we're going to, what did it say, 14? Yeah, let's go for 14. That is 16, and that is what I like to see. Oh, no, it's invalid, because it's got a 1 in it. All right, we're still trying for 14. Attempt number 2. It's got another one. Should I add another dice? This is terrible. If I score 10, that's absolutely awful. We're going to have to put another dice in. We're rolling five dice just to try and get to 14. 
and we've got two ones. So our score is 10. Oh my gosh. Why do I play dice games? Why do I even bother? I'm just not good at them. It's not good at having the dice, you know? Javelin. Start with six dice. After each throw, you must freeze at least one dice. Only dice with odd values may be frozen. Try to freeze dice with high odd values. Stop throwing the finish, blah, blah, blah. If you can't freeze another die, your attempt is invalid. All right, so this is kind of like discus except with even numbers. Yeah, got three attempts. How many dice we got? Six. All right, let's go with just these monochrome. I like the monochrome look. Javelin. I also remember throwing javelin in school, but I think we only just tried to throw them at each other. Like, there was no attempts at length. You know, we weren't trying to beat one another. We were literally trying to impale um, our classmates. Um, and that's how that went. That seems like a good one, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Well, we've got a five, so we'll definitely freeze that. Um, Try to freeze that. Stop throwing to finish your attempt at any time. Um, total the value of all frozen dice. I guess I could freeze these two threes. Um, or should I just roll them all again? to see if I can get better. I mean, I'm basically looking for a, f I'm, I'm looking for a five, aren't I? Let's just, let, mm, 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 yeah, I, hmm. If you cannot freeze another die, your attempt is invalid. So I could stop here and score 11, or I could keep going and try to get five, 10, 15, 30. Yeah, 11 out of 30 sounds really bad, so I'm gonna try again. All right, here we go. We've got freezing another five, that's good. Um, and then our third roll, should I freeze this one just to be sure? Or should I, let's make sure we can freeze another one. Uh, you are rubbish because all of you are even numbers. So that's a zero, I think. Yeah, okay. Or do we, hold on, attempt to freeze. Yeah, your entire, yeah, okay, we score zero. That's rubbish. 1500 meters here, here it is this is my claim to fame it better be good on this one start by throwing the first die if you're not satisfied with the result pick up the die that, yeah okay that makes sense and re-throw it this can be repeated several times until you freeze the first die try to freeze dice with high values but no sixes maximum 13 throws one initial throw and up to five re-throws okay 13 throws Let's grab a 13-sided dice. <laughs> Just, that, was a, that was a joke that I had. Uh, it would be nice to have a spin down, but I don't think I've got one on me, no. All right, we're gonna go with this one. So we've got one, and how many dice are we starting with? Oh, all of them, eight. Okay, we're throwing the first dice. Repeated several times until you freeze it. Um, maximum 13, one initial throw for each dice and up to five rethrows. Let's just throw all of the dice and then we'll start rethrowing. I think that's the way to do this. All right, blue first, because that's... You know what? I'm actually just going to go with uh, no on that one. So that's what we've got, 13. Oh, that's nice. It rolled onto there. So now let's move that down to... Well, I'm going to move it down to 11 because I'm just going to take two right off the bat. Whatever. Okay, that's 10. There you go, see? That's what we're talking about. Get at six and hold on to it. Two, that's rubbish. It's kind of crazy. We get, this actually isn't very much, is it? I mean, we only get five rethrows um, on eight dice. Like, that's... Oops, that went off the side, but it's a three, so... Um, if I was going to cheat, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give myself that sh rubbish of a score. Um, we're down to six. That's a four. Okay, like that. So now we're down to five. We've got a lot of threes. Lots of threes. Now we're down to four. So I say, obviously, we re-roll the two, and it's a two. <laughs> we're going to re-roll it again. So we'll move the, and it's another two. You are joking. So I guess we'll re-roll it again. It's a five. All right, that's better. So we've got, uh, what have we got? We've got five threes, which is 15, 20, 30, a score of 30. So that's, it's not great, is it? And then our score is the total of all of these. So um, just some very quick maths from me. 
will tell me that this is 155. 155. That was pretty rapid. Um, counting up, and that is my score. Now, uh, there's no way, there's no sheet that tells you how well you're doing. There's no, there's no score over this or score under this or, or rules. So what I need you guys to do is go to nizia.com print yourself out a decathlon well, i guess you even don't even print it you don't have to um get yourself eight dice eight six d eight d six and comment below your score in decathlon i want to know if this was bad i'm pre i mean obviously i'm pretty sure that it was and actually funnily enough my my scores do seem to well, actually, getting 32 and 100 meters, that's not going to be me. Um, unfortunately, I'm not the fastest uh, metaphor in the brain. Um, I, I'm, I'm not the fastest. So, uh, but, you know, shot put, I would have I would have bet myself on a zero. And javelin, absolutely, um, I think I've been impaled. Discus, to, to be frank, I've never picked up a discus, nor have I picked up a pole to vault with. So, um either of these i'm surprised that we got on the board but let me know can you score more than 150 well when you score more than 155 let me know what it is and let's um let's bask in my ineptitude thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this little print and play rainier nizia's decathlon um there will be more to come if you guys uh want to see more um i've got a few good looking print and plays lined up and that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to drop a like. Um, hit subscribe if you are new and want to see more solo board gaming. And uh, yeah, let me know. 155 to beat. I will see you later.